Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com Waterjet Knife Blanks. Now this video is really for the guy that wants to make uh, small production runs um, or basically make multiples of the same knife blank design. Um, it starts with usually with CAD drawings. Uh, you're, you have to find a Waterjet company. That Waterjet company will either charge you for the CAD drawings or you can supply them yourself. Um, I found a very good supplier for CAD drawings very affordably. Uh, the Waterjet company that I first priced this out with uh, was going to charge about $75 per design per CAD drawing. Uh, by using a website called Fiverr.com, I was able to search out a graphic artist uh, that was able to produce four uh, knife designs and provide CAD drawings for a total of $50. Um, you can search for a different Waterjet company and there's a huge variety and difference between them. Um, I eventually found a water jet company that could work off of a hand-drawn sketch or a PDF um, and I didn't need to provide those CAD drawings. Uh, the material you'll have to provide uh, most times yourself and have it delivered to the water jet company. I used McMaster and Carr and just had them deliver small sheets of 1095 high carbon steel to the water jet company um, and then the water jet company um, put as many uh, blanks or, or cutouts onto each sheet as possible. Uh, so on the smaller knives I was able to get about seven or eight uh, knives or knife blanks out of a sheet and on the larger cleaver I think I was only able to get uh, three or so. Or exactly, actually three out of a sheet of the 1095. Now the water jet really uh, you know cuts through almost any material like a hot knife through butter. Uh, it's capable of duplicating that exact design over and over. Uh, it's able to punch out holes, uh, very intricate designs. And it really, I mean, we were able to cut 20 blanks in less than an hour. So it produces um, these blanks very quickly. And if you are doing small production runs, it's a very affordable uh, way of duplicating uh, the exact design of knife blanks. So anyway, if you are that guy, um, what I would start out with is uh, contacting a variety of different uh, water jet companies, getting their minimum runs and their pricing. Um, you can contact knife uh, supply companies for, for the steel, or you can contact McMaster and Carr, and basically figure out how many of your design you can fit on a sheet of steel. So you can figure out the cost of material per each blank and then add to that the cost of cutting out each blank and see whether it's going to be worthwhile. Uh, most times you're going to end up paying somewhere in the eight to nine dollar range to cut out each blank. That's just the water uh, jet cutting. You have to add to that the material. And I'll put a link um, on this particular video uh, as um, to that Fiverr.com as well as to Long Island Waterjet which is the company that I ended up using. Uh, they worked out very very well for me because they're fairly local and I was able to actually go out and pick up the product um, which even reduced my cost greater. I didn't have to pay for shipping. Anyway, if, if anybody has any questions at all, by all means uh, send me a message. If you're the, not the guy that wants to make a production run and you just want to make uh, one or two knives occasionally, um, you can check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Uh, we're going to be offering these blanks uh, right on the website, uh, ready for you to start uh, crafting, uh, grinding the bevels, adding the, the scales, etc. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Uh, if you like the video, got any information out of it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel.